you see Republicans uh, in Congress, right, they have uh, spent all year investigating the president. That's what they've spent all year doing and uh, have turned up with no evidence, none, he, that he did anything wrong. I mean, that is what we've heard over and over again from their almost year-long investigation. And, uh, and that's because the president didn't do anything wrong. Even, even, wrong. House, even House Republicans have said, have said, the evidence does not exist. The House Republicans have said that to my friend in the back who just yelled at, which is incredibly inappropriate. Uh, but House Republicans have said that there doesn't, there doesn't, it doesn't exist. Their own investigation have actually debunked their ridiculous attacks. And the only reason Speaker McCarthy is doing this is doing this political stunt, and we have seen it, you all have reported, is because Majority, uh, Majority Taylor Greene has said she threatened to shut down the government. Can you imagine shutting down the government over a political stunt? And we're talking about <coughs> vital programs that American families need. And, and she said that because she wanted him to, to actually do this, and if he didn't, she would shut down the government. And you have Matt Gates as well, threatened uh, to oust him as speaker if he didn't do it. So he didn't even put up for a vote, as you all know because he knows that even his own members weren't going to support this. So, uh, you know, that's why we call it baseless. That's why I just called it baseless, because they have said themselves that there is no ex evidence. There does not, the evidence does not exist. And this is a political stunt. But here's the thing, and I say this all the time, we look forward to working with Republicans in a bipartisan way to actually deal with issues that matter to, to Americans, real issues that matter to Americans, not this baseless of effort that they have continuing to do uh, that shows no evidence. Well, give it to explain why the president interacted with so many of his son's Ford business associates.